Yeah, so basically um, what happened with Disney, I was in Florida uh, working at um, Disney Imagineering in Florida and the big shots came out and was doing uh, some recruiting for artists and designers for Epcot. So I was asked to move to California. Walt Disney Imagineering is the coming together of creative ideas and the technology to crystallize them into reality. Engineers, architects, artists, and designers all work together using the tools of imagination to create the Disney-themed experience. Walt Disney set up Imagineering in 1952 to design a revolutionary concept in outdoor entertainment, Disneyland. Several months go by and then, then I'm, um, I've become acquainted with, uh, I, I feel like Disney's absolute best all-time artist was Herb Ryman. Everyone at Disney knows Herb Ryman, but um, not really all that well known in the art world. And as luck would have it, we were working next door to each other. Like he had one room and I had the very next door room. So over the years, um, Herb and I became really good friends. Herb would be uh, what I considered a highlight of my, my time spent at Disney drawing, sketching, and painting together, and uh, philosophizing over a drink or two. Herb wasn't the only one I worked with. I worked with a lot of really famous Disney people, but uh, Herb's the one that always stands out as the, the star, uh, the one I learned the most from. I really wasn't aware at the time just how important this part of uh, Disney was. I, it, to me, just coming there from Florida, I, I thought this is the way it had always been and pretty much the way it would always be and really did not realize just how, uh, what, what a little bubble of time we were all in. So I, I know a, a lot of things according to Herb that um, most people would never dream ever happened.